Hello and welcome to another episode of Ask the Consistory. I'm your host for this video, Reverend Jake Zabel of the St. John's Evangelical Lutheran Church located in Dolby, Queensland, Australia. Ask the Consistory is a video podcast produced by the Confessional Orthodox Evangelical Lutheran Communion, or COELT for short, where we answer your questions. And the question that has been proposed to me for today's video is, can a Lutheran marry a non-Lutheran? And the answer is yes. Of course you can. The, the real question is, should you marry a non-Lutheran? And I'd like to use the example of what Paul says in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14, where he tells Christians not to be unequally yoked, that what union has light with dark? Um, it's not good to be unequally yoked in a marriage. Now, you can be married to somebody who's of a different faith to you, and either that means a non-Christian faith or just a different Christian denomination, such as like a Lutheran married to a Catholic. You can, but it's not good. See, in, in 1 Corinthians, Paul talks about marriages where Christians are married to non-Christians, and he says, well, as long as the non-Christian wants to stay married to you, well, then you should stay married with them. But here Paul is talking about situations where two non-Christians got married and then later one converted to Christianity. And, I mean, this happens sometimes. I mean, even, like, if you're a Lutheran, you could marry a Lutheran and later she could convert to um, Catholicism or to be a Baptist or a Presbyterian or something like that. And the problem is, all this will put a great strain on your marriage and on your faith and on your children's faith. I mean, just, not only do your churches teach differently, but think of important things like the sacraments. What about baptism? I mean, this is less of an issue if you marry someone like a Catholic or an Eastern Orthodox or High Church Anglican or any other church that practices infant baptism. You can baptize children. But what if you were a Lutheran and you're married to a Baptist and they say, no, no, you have to make, wait until like you're a teenager and you can make a decision for Christ. Well, then what do you do? Are you going to baptize your kid or not? And the biggest issue is Holy Communion. I mean, Again, if you go to one of these new modern churches that has open communion, well, then there's no problem. Who cares? I mean, who really cares about any doctrine if you go into a church that has open communion? But if you hold to a, a proper Christian church that follows the biblical, confessional, historical practice of closed communion, then this becomes a real issue when you and your spouse belong to different churches. Like, if you went to a Catholic church, and you're, like your wife's Catholic, and you went to a Catholic church, but you're Lutheran, they, they wouldn't commune you. And if you would say are a member of a Lutheran church that practices closed communion, you know, why is a Catholic? Well, then we won't commune her. So you should be in a church, the same church with your wife. Like, if you're going to be married to a person, you're going to be one flesh with them. Wouldn't you want to also go to the same communion rail as them? And, and so when it comes to Lutherans being married to non-Lutherans, I mean, this is always going to create great struggles in a marriage. It's going to create great problems when you have two spouses that go to different churches. And sadly, this sometimes happens because people, after they've been married, they convert to a different religion or to a different Christian denomination. And so then you can't be part of the same church. But that is still going to be an issue. And while you can live in such a circumstance, why would you want to put yourself in such a difficult situation if you didn't have to? Now, I'm not saying don't go and date a non-Lutheran. By all means, go date a non-Lutheran. Hopefully, you may be able to convert her and bring her around to Lutheranism and the two of you can get married and she can join the Lutheran church. It'd be great. But I think definitely Lutherans should be married to other Lutherans, particularly, especially since there are so many Lutheran denominations as Missouri Synod, Wisconsin Synod, um, North American Lutheran Church, Evangelical Lutheran Church of America, Lutheran Church of Australia, uh, Australian Evangelical Lutheran Church, the Coelk, and many others. You know, there's all these different denominations that don't have fellowship with one another. Marry a Lutheran of the same synod that you belong to. Uh, so can a Lutheran marry a non-Lutheran? Of course you can, but why would you? So I'm your host, Jake Zabel, and if you have any other questions for this, uh, for the Coelk and the Consistory, just email them to our video, just send them to our email address, coelk-atc at hotmail.com. Goodbye and God bless.